Hello and welcome everyone to part 43 of the Danes Let's Play for Total War Artillery. We continue where we left things off last time. Got through that intern phase and um, I'm going after the elements. Trying to take out some of their territory. We need to work out a way of getting an army over there to take their gems. If possible. We're still contending with the corruption but I'm kind of, um, you know, just going to go with the flow of things right now and just see, uh, you know, how we go. I know some of you have told me in both this series and the, the Saxon one about using it. I, I probably wouldn't consider using it until like 60, 65%, something like that. And uh, someone's also let me know that there's also there's now a mod which doesn't reduce the corruption as much, but still reduces a little bit. Just because, honestly, using that mod just allows you to steamroll so hard. Um... Maybe maybe it's different if you start the game with it because maybe you're a bit more conscious of um, having that extra money and developing up earlier. But yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather struggle through and win than enable a mod and steamroll through. So yeah, even if it's tougher for me, that that's kind of where I want to go uh, with it. So that's what we're gonna do for now. Plus, these guys, we're going for a cultural victory with the uh, with the Danes, and uh, we're going for a military victory with the Saxons if possible, and then. Uh, when the first one of those, either Saxons or Danes, hits their cultural or military victory, then I'll have a vote to see which one is going to be carried on to a divine triumph, either the Danes or the Saxons. Um, so we'll see. So anyway, cultural victory-wise, we've got the we've got enough settlements because we've got those military allies. Uh, to be honest, a good way to deal with the whole uh, corruption thing is if you don't want to expand anymore, but you still want to get more money, make military allies and get trade agreement with them because the more settlements they your your allies then take you'll get a portion of that through the trade so we need to, we need to take all of Frisia um, we've looted and sacked enough we have got to have more dominant religion and we've got to build some of these bits we've got the mead hall we need the hall of elders we need irrigated fields and we need large city so I'm just going to check if I've actually got the technology for these because I'll uh, I'll keep researching if that's the case it's just large cities, just maximum level. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Um, Hall of Elders, I think I know about that one. Uh, irrigated fields, though. That's just top tier fields. So that's that's okay. I mean, to be fair, I should just find a, a tier 4 food somewhere else and just go from there. I mean, here, even, we could go for it. Uh, but let me, let me have a look around first and just see. Because that's kind of the next thing that I'm looking to go towards and uh, getting that. Those feels like. Plus, of course, up here in the north, we are looking to, um, you know, properly build up the economy to the most effective way we can. Uh, it's got the livestock herd here, which I think rained rain, something then. Um, so we've got the wicker maker here for now for commercial building bonuses. Got the tavern being upgraded. I assume our religion is dominant up here, actually. I would have thought so. Yeah. Um. So we want to upgrade the fishing jetties for more maritime commerce. We want to upgrade those trade jetties for more commerce uh, as well. Um, but what were we going to build here? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Food. We do need more food. Well, we need to upgrade the granary then to start with. I guess we're going to go for another artisan probably and get like the got the wicker maker there and the bone crafter. But um, we the specific resource here, salt works. That generates wealth from industry, so anything we have to buff industry development would be really good. Um, so I think we're just going to go for two lots of artisan buildings here. And then we'll upgrade those salt works later on for more money and what have you. Um, we've got the trough, we've got that for more public order. Um, so we've got sanitation coming in from that, so we're all good here. If I've got that wrong, then I'll sort that out. We've got the construction cost uh, edict enabled, so we can sort stuff out here. Scanza, we're just dealing with Gothis Scanza for now. Uh, and I'll probably look at, well, let's have a look at the most top earning provinces that I have. It's actually this one. I mean, Gothic Scanners is quite a fair bit down. Uh, this one here, we'll try and build up with the gold, but we need gems if we're really going to take this to the, the proper top level that we want. Um, Britannia, yeah, it does have room to grow. Recruitment for land units or uh, wealth from agricultural uh, buildings. Got the mead hall, so we need another hall of elders. So yeah, we can easily get the hall of elders. We should be able to get the um, enclosed fields pretty easily as well. So what we've got here, we've got for agricultural buildings. So build up the agriculture then, really. 
So we want farmsteads. Um, so all we can go for is our special bit here of the tool maker. Let's have a look at the resources actually. So we've got the tool maker, which goes for yeah, just agricultural stuff or it's recruitment for units. Uh, I, we'll go for the agricultural stuff. Um, because we do obviously have the opportunity to build up a farm here. Right, and a farm here, and then we'll upgrade that in a turn or two. So that's okay. So we're just going to try and, you know, deal with the corruption as we've got. We haven't got such a large empire here because the military allies that we've got are really helping us out. In fact, I, I would love for the Saxons to be a military welcome. ally. welcome. Although my ancestors and people expect talk with purpose and honesty. Um, because obviously then I don't need to hold all of Frisia. I can just get these guys the military allies, but they're slowly getting there. Um, I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are known to have honour. I think I'll start offering them gifts and things like that because we can do that. Then I don't need to conquer them. Seems a bit silly to do that to them when I've already got a couple of enemies that I already want to kill. Langobards, Alamans, Ibdanians. So this army here is going to chase down the Swabians. I've pulled this one over to defend and protect. Uh, the Abdonians are coming up over here, so I'm going to force march my army to Tingis. I leave the fleet defending here. Um, we've got this army here. Langobards are up here taking attrition, so I'm going to let them go into attritional death. Upgrade my general. Uh, we'll go for... Charge bonus could do. We'll go for one point in there and one point... Uh, there, then next time we need food and that, and oh, and one in there, and the stag as well. So, a few more turns before we can, or a few more upgrades before he can be at his maximum. Uh, we just managed to hold off here, Not possible. but we didn't destroy all of them. For the, tribe. the rebels pull back here, so we'll have to wait for a few turns. Uh, we'll repair all of Carthage there. Yeah, I was going through the Saxons. I was going to go through Saxons' lands to take out the Alamans, but then I've just realised I don't have military access. So the only way I can do it is going up through the Jutes' lands and sailing down here, and then in this way. Oh, seriously! Oh, I went to go. Oh. Did we not take? Did we not trespass? I thought we just trespassed against the Saxons. Trespass against the Saxons. I've already got it. I welcome you, worthy speaker. I listen because your people are known to have. Because we don't have it, but seeing as we've already trespassed, I'm screw it. I'm going. I'm going through. Should have checked that before. But yeah, screw it, we'll go through their lands. Um, shouldn't piss them off too much. But yeah, I need to get the Saxons on the side as a military ally. Actually, yeah, if that's the case, I don't really want to do it again, no. No, we'll go we'll go this way. We'll go up and round. On the move, lads. It's fine. Um So we're playing the the cultural game right now. Spread religion. Tax rate bonus. Yeah, we just gotta work on them. Them religious centers. Birds. But that that's kind of a probably a last thing we'll do, but we'll start building something down here. We've got the standing stone down here, so we just need to boost it. But it's actually it's majority here, that's fine. Not here, we need to build it up. We need to actually increase that. Actually, that doesn't do anything, so don't need sanitation. We should probably go. Oh, no. We'll leave it. We need agents in there. Ships, you are going to... Yeah, you're going to have to stay there. We need to convert all these. Yeesh. Um, our livestock pens. So we can get the Viking Raider Cavalry at Caesarea. Oh, yeah. Then I guess we could convert that to our fields, but we're building up it elsewhere. So oh, that's fine. End turn. Um, skills. Replenishment. You are a general. So that would be useful. Let's give you some of these stuffs too. Civil development, research. Uh, yep. Yep. 
Sign a provincial governor. Oh, hang on. Cancel. I was going to put someone in the province, wasn't I? It's going to be Britannia Inferior. That's the one that's missing one. Who was I gonna do it to? I need it for my own family, but it's the person that I want to do. He probably doesn't have enough. Points, I'm trying to remember who it was. Yeah, his sons were gonna make. Oh, we were gonna save it to make one of his sons governors, weren't we, or something like that? I don't know. Uh, we were saving up so he has enough influence to adopt Helgi. Because he's 73, so he needs to get him in battle to adopt Helgi. Because he'll really, really help with things. He is a general, though, so there's no point making him a judge. You're a general. Um, so I mean, it's... I need to look for a statesman. Here we go. He's not, he's nothing special, that's the thing. I guess we could put him in for now, but then when we kick him out, we'll upset him. Uh, but better have a governor than no governor, I guess, so. Oh, let's scroll down, Britannia Inferior. And I guess we'll go for construction. Gonna be upgrading bits over here. Ends a turn. See how it goes. And geats and jutes keep on going. Where are you going, jutes? Where are you going? Oh, and I should say the um the tune that I was whistling in the last part uh, at the end at the start, I think, and asking you guys to guess it. Um, one of you, I just see, definitely saw one of you guess it right. And for those of you that didn't, um, it was. And uh, that is a very badly whistled version of the castle theme tune, um, which I really enjoy. Ah, now you now want peace. Bloodied. End this feud. We offer peace today, or the sword tomorrow. Um, yeah, then I don't have to bother chasing you, which is all right by me. Although it's sh absolutely crappy that they don't want to. Um, no, you know what? You can take that or you can die. Screw you guys. You should offer me loads of money. You've got strong... Apparently you've got lots of money. <laughs> the Swabians are fleeing. I will give chase. Looks like the Jutes are as well, to be fair. That's fine. That army's not going anywhere at Cesario. We're waiting for the cavalry stables to be upgrade so we can get Viking Raider cavalry. Because they sound awesome. Are they coming to attack me again, are they? Ah, oh, guys, you dead this time. That's an auto-resolve into your face. I'm going to go aggressive so you will die. There we go. In your leg. Oh, and in your neck. Ah. Bye bye. You guys are dead. And yeah, whatever. Um, ransom and release. Integrity. Uh, well, it's a garrison, isn't it? So screw it. Might as well. I think everyone's turns of office have just died. Died or ended, rather. Your term of office has died! What? Food George is resolved in Gothiscanza. Rank gained for my Uber Spy. Lovely. Misdirect workforce. Cunning. Uber cunning. Might as well reduce all of his costs. I'll go for that. Why the heel not? Although, actually, no, 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 no. I want that, and I want that. 
I don't want my spy over here. I know, oh no, wait, he's trying to he's trying to reduce corruption, isn't he? Ah. That's the thing. It's really good, but I gotta leave him there. Because it's one of my better provinces, so that's fine. Um I'm gonna keep giving chase to you going with You're gonna go for a list bow, aren't you? Oh, you thought you might. I can probably with these guys force march. Yeah, there we go. No, these guys aren't gonna like it, but for a turn. Better to have that settlement protected because then they're stuck. They can they'll probably go north. And come up against this these guys, who should be able to have them. They're caught between a rock and a hard place right now. And yeah, we've got the livestock pens. Irrigation fields are part of the cultural victory. So I am oh look at them. Oh yeah. Tasty. They don't have the bonus versus cavalry, but damn. Damn you guys be good, so I'm afraid bye guys. And hello, Viking Raider Cavalry. Must make like a whole army of them. I'm going to go hunt down the Langobards. Take out their Germanic horsemen. I know I don't have the bonus versus Cav now. So actually, they'll probably die, but... Oh, they're awesome. High health, really solid Cav. Oh, it wasn't a... That was a... A natural force. Yes, of course. I brought it over from... Rome? How can I assist you? How can I assist you? Uh, Rome, you need to be happier. Is your food levels up? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, well, we need the Hall of no Hall of Elders anyway. That gives us a small boost to public order, so we might as well go for that. Although, that's then going to tank our food. Six turns. Four turns for that, so next time I just definitely need to put this... God, my economy's doing great now, actually. Yeah, so... Okay, it's, it's, it's mainly because I don't control as many lands as my Saxon one, but... And, which is stopping the corruption being awful, but yeah, I don't have as many armies too, but it's okay. It's okay. We can deal with this. Welcome. I'm fine with the corruption Speed. levels now. Oh, good. Caledonians, you really should attempt. trade with me. I'm your lord and master. Love me. Love me. Oh, we were trying to get the Saxons, weren't we? I was going to give them some gifts. Greetings. Now speak plainly, for we are an honest folk. I don't have enough. Sorry, guys. Next time. Next time, I promise. So I need to get you on side because I don't feel like killing you guys. <laughs> like how I, saying that as if uh, you know that they they t totally wouldn't wreck me. Get I uh, totally don't want to kill you guys. You know. Is that all? I'll run over here, then we'll head in. Head into the river. Apparently that's a better way of going. Okay. Then we'll land here and we'll go for them. We actually got a. Uh, we do have an onager. Good. 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 Um, up here. Getting everything built should yield a nice boost. I think I've moved everything I need to move. End turn. End turn. <laughs> oh, hello, pop it. Uh, against the Franks. Oh, right, okay. Do we have peace with them? No. Uh, yes, enter on the side of the ally. I'll go to war with the Franks, it's fine. Yeah, so our castle's kind of like my current downtime series, so like whenever I'm rendering a video and I'm waiting for it to finish, having lunch of an evening, I'm just, I binge watch series and Castle's my binge watching series right now. A light hearted, well I say light hearted, light hearted kind of relationship between writer and detective in a m murder mystery detective case thing, show, detective, yeah, detective show. Yeah, I'm addicted to that theme tune. Oh, hello. Hello, pop it. So, Alamans, like I say, the Alamans are going to be a fun war because they're spread out, which will make me go to new lands and hopefully allow me to finally use my freaking fleet. Because I do realise I played the. If I was going to play the Danes, I would play it totally different now to how I have done it. Oh, yeah, we had a uh, alliance. Whoops. Um, yeah, not alliance, non aggression. Ragnar. Oh, dear, he's flaccid. Well. Actually, 
can't have any more reduction of chance of having children because Ragnar, you've got no balls. Sorry, dude, did you forget? I know it was a very traumatic experience when we tried to forget about it, right? But, uh... Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put them all back into their ruddy... ruddy positions, right? Yeah, there's only him as a judge right near. Ragnar, you don't have enough, but you will do soon. Um, Helgi, you're a general, so you should be an elder. You're a general, so you should be an elder. You're a captain of my ship, so you should be one of them. You're a companion. You're a companion. I mean, I know this is... I don't... I should probably be picking my own family to these, but this is... At least it's whittled down. Which is down just a little bit. They're, uh... Their stuff. Their huge amount of influence. Uthulf. There you go. You'd be a companion. Ah, oh, here we go. We've trapped him. We've trapped him, lads. Ah, oh, they've taken a huge amount of attrition as well. Oh no, it's not attrition. It's they were weakened last from the last battle. Oh no, don't run! Ah, oh, I want to kill you. I could probably finish. Whole army of javelins. Uh, mm, no, actually, they. Mm. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do a whole army of javelins. Actually, thinking about it, let's not do that. 10k happy days. Try and take these guys out over here. You raid me, I'll come kill you. Uh, Grade two, my general. Upgrade your ships. Upgrade that. Angabars, you are still chilling up here in the desert, taking taking the hits. Um, I can't hit you yet, and again, I will take attrition. Going up into the mountains to hit you. So I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna take a few more turns of attrition. It's fine. Uh, we need to convert all these, but 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 other things to do first, which is Rome. Oh, upgrade that. Come back up north, got this Scanza. Right, we want the Bone Carver because it does eventually give a bonus to... Where is he? Gives... Oh no, it doesn't give a bonus to industry. Which one's the bonus to industry? Oh no, there isn't one that gives a bonus from industry. Oh, it's, it's a... I know what it was. It was a, um... It was a... Resource that gives a bonus to industry. So we've got b b bonus to commercial buildings, but none of these give... Commerce. But I guess in that case we should just stack bone carvers, but at the same time, we've got to be careful with all of these, because it's squalor and public order that hits a lot. So... Our food is at zero. Oh, total sanitation is six there. Four here. Five. So we've just got to be careful with the upgrades, but we're going to go for a bone carver, which is going to start hitting the public order. Uh, so stuff like this. Actually, we should probably go for this first. That helps the food. Then we're going to need to upgrade the dikes. Uh, I'm going to need chieftain's hold. That's going to help the public order a little bit, but it does create the squalor. So... Yeah, that's going to help with sanitation there. This is the only province that's going to struggle with sanitation. We should upgrade that as well. Maybe this one should be changed out for a sanitation building. Let me know your thoughts, people. Um... Where was I building? I was building some farm somewhere. Where were they? Vineyard. No, it wasn't here. Oh, come here. Surely build some religious buildings down here, actually, because these guys are not going to be able to be converted that easily. Go for fields here and build them up. I could have sworn I had somewhere that was already pretty much ready to be a tier 4 field. Ah, here. We can convert this over. Let's upgrade from there. That'll do. That'll do. Right. 
these guys. Ready for battle. Of course. It's fine, they'll replenish that up shortly. Closing. Not a problem. Um Right, well I was hoping to get a battle this part, but I doubt we're gonna get one now. Hopefully get one next time, but you guys you guys know the deal with this one. You know, we're pushing for various bits. Um, money, I do not have enough money now to, again, treat the Saxons to anything nice. Sorry, Saxons. Oh, they are improving, though. Why are we... Why, what was it? Treaty was... It? What suddenly boosted it? War with the Franks. Okay, War with the Franks has helped a fair bit. My friend, be welcome. The spirits of this place smile upon you. The gods bless you. Yeah. So, one more in turn. Unassigned skill for you. Public order bonus. Inspire troops. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Over here. And then we'll wrap things up once we get through the intern phase. We'll just see what happens. Shall we <laughs> target each other until our enemies can gorge themselves on warriors' flesh? Or will it be peace? No, you should you should probably die this time, so. Um Your men will turn the enemy's bowels to water. Come, aid us in this war, I beg. Thorungians. Yeah, if I help if I help them then they're probably quite likely to and I've just made peace with them and well, have I just made... I'm getting confused now between these and my Saxon series. I will accept it just because... You speak well, but... But, because uh, I want to make them my friends. And I want their territories added into my... That, that should actually pretty much finish me off, I'd have thought. Oh, hello! Got some Ebdanians to kill. Who's who's going in here? It's the Geats. And I'll be reinforcing. Go on then, we'll fight this one. So we've got a battle for this part. There we go. Go on then. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We've got lots of onagers, so my cab's gonna be on on point to take them out. Camels are gonna be fun. I just hit start battle and I have to wait for my troops to come on in. I'm actually coming in behind the enemy, which is kinda cool. Is that their reinforcements or is that their whole army? Oh no, is that's their whole force they deployed over here. Reinforcements enter the fray. Nice. Get fast forward. I might just let the AI go for them and uh, disrupt them a little bit. Grab all them spears. Just walk my men over. Archers, go for flaming shot for now. Oh, cock. Cock, 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 cock. There we go. The enemy is attacking our yes, ally. I know they're attacking my ally. And I'm going to have to move up quickly because otherwise they're going to wreck my ally as well. I'm leaving it on fast forward for this bit. Go right, cav. Up this way, we're gonna go take out those onagers. Which should help out my ally a bit. Right now, we hit play. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Here we go. The first shot. Go in. Stop them now from doing any more. In my men come charging on in. Oh, spread legs, close them up. I can see right through you. Nice. Destroy them all. How their forces are reacting. Yeah, okay, but they've pretty much destroyed the Geats. So we'll need to pull back. 
in a second. Right, pull back. Get back. And in fact, I've gone too far forward. So we're just going to redeploy here. Otherwise no one's going to be in position by the time the uh, enemy forces come into play. Flaming shot. Try and get these onagers to the kind of the crest here. I doubt we're going to get that, so we'll just pull them down here. My spears just rest up now, they're in position kind of over here. Although these guys are eager already. Uh, fresh, rather. Yes, they're getting wrecked up here, Nordic Warlord. Don't even care, it's fine. These guys got wrecked. This general here. Javelins. Oh, the cab just shot straight on into me. That's nice. The mercenary camels. Formation! Move! Oh yeah, of course we went for the flaming arrows, didn't we? Right, let's go heavy shot now. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Left that flank open. A treat. Last shot of fire going into the camels, which will bring them down. Now heavy shot coming in, taking them out as well. Perfect. Oh, in fact, their whole flank is just full of light troops. And uh, light forces there, which is good. Right, I'm going to give these guys an attack order. Just through all of them, a group attack order. General, charge up the back. Spears come around the flanks and we'll take you guys out of your hoplite wall. Horse Raiders here. Go. Geats coming down the back. In we go, in we go, in we go. Charging on in, charging on in. Archers, stop firing. Smash them in here. Flank round with these guys. The enemy are losing their advantage. They are trying to take out our general. Defend him. Okay, they're all going in there. You guys go in here while the cab's gotten pinned. He goes this way. He goes this way. Get stuck in. <clears throat> Sorry. Got stuck in my throat. Oh, that guy's head's gone. Push, 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 push. Yeah, kill, kill, kill. Tis our battle cry. I am gonna fast forward the uh, the end though. I don't think they can potentially flee. I think we've probably got the trap between the combined grouping of our forces. But uh, I will try and, with my cab, at least finish some of them off here. Many of these desert bowmen, which are still alive. This guy's just standing there. Oh, now he's dead. Boom. That's the end. Decisive victory and a lovely way to wrap up today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed. Outro slate's coming up with all the other links and bits and bobs you can check out. And advise you. Have a little looky. The enemy actually did do a fair bit of damage. That's mainly to the Geats. They lost a thousand of their men. Um, but I didn't lose any. Well, I, lo I lost some. I, didn't, I barely lost many. Barely lost many. Um, ransom is going to hit our integrity. Get extra money. No, we'll just take off warriors. We don't need it. They're going to flee to me. I should be able to finish them off. And then that's the Abdanians gone. And then they finally paid for all their treacherous acts. <clears throat> I 
Uh, calling me to attack the Huns. Well, that just made... They just changed the flavor of everything here, didn't they? But I better keep them happy, so yeah. We're at war with the Huns. War with the East. The Hunnic War begins. I think the Jutes are coming over to finish off the Abdalians. Guys, there's no need to send that many stacks against the Abdalians. Seriously, I've, I've got this. I've got this covered. I totally have this covered. Come on. Come on! Sassanids, and now the Huns are gonna come and raid everything. I'm gonna try it. It's funny, actually, now with the Huns in my Danes Let's Play, I'm, I've just married about seven or eight Hunnic women in my Saxon Let's Play, and I'm obviously playing as the Huns in my Huns Let's Play. But that's fine, going to war with the Huns in the East, because the Alamans are over there, so there would have been some kind of focus on the East at some point anyway. Looks like the Angles are going after the Langobards, so I may not have to bother with them, which means that frees up that army at Cesario, so I can send that against the Alamans if I want in the East. It's all good. It's all good! Came to a good point at the end. Swabians are dead. Oh, I didn't even get to kill them. Term of office completed. Political favours. Yeah, the dude can do it himself. The dude can do it himself. Secured for everyone. Thurungians, yes, I know, but it was to keep the Saxons happy, alright. Probably unreliable as crap right now. Uh, trustworthy? Oh, I'm trustworthy. Good. Saxons, how you like me now? How you like me now? You are gonna eventually like My me. My friend, be welcome. The spirits of this place smile upon you. The gods bless you. Oh, seriously, you're not even gonna take a freaking military lance for that much. Right, well, I'm going to give you a really nice gift. <laughs> give you a... Oh, that gift's too much. Medium gift. Well, we'll give you a medium gift. Why not? Let's see how much this does. Accept. Yeah. Uh, how much has that improved it? What? Oh, that's that's pushed it higher. But we're at total... Of... <sighs> gifts of the Saxons is 25. That's actually pretty reasonable. Gifts are good. Gifts are good. Cool. I like that. I've got time for that. Right, well, now I've just given a gift, which is a lot of money, but also out. The economy's actually now starting to boom, which is great. Um, happy days. Let's just um, finish things up by... Bye-bye. And uh, now the Abdanians are dead. No, they're not dead. Thirsty for oh yeah, they are dead. Perfection destroyed. Bye bye, Evdanians, and that's where we're wrapping up for now. So, we're going to continue going off the Alamans. Next time, continue to build up our economies elsewhere. Feel free to suggest the, you know, optimum buildings for the provinces and what have you, and I will see you next time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion, all links are in the description, as well as multiple ways for you to connect with me. While you're there, why not have a look at the link for Green Man Gaming, they have a huge catalogue of games, both new and old, regular deals that are refreshed all the time, and you can save 20% by using my code. If gaming laptops are your thing, why not have a look at XMG, they have a large range of customisable machines and you can save £30 off a purchase of a gaming laptop by using my affiliate link and code also found in the description. So, until next time guys, ciao for now.